So good morning, it is day three. I'm a little under 48 hours in, feeling good. I had a pretty good night. Had to go back in and see a patient at one point, otherwise I was able to get some rest, which is super key, super important, especially when you're doing these multi-day call uh, situations. It's true what they say about coffee, it's good and super necessary. I feel like at any given moment I have a lethal dose of caffeine running through my system and I don't plan to change that anytime soon. Hmm. More bird energy. Birds, birds, birds. Everywhere I go. Have you guys seen my scrub top? Can't seem to find it anywhere. Oh, I guess I was wearing it this whole time. Hmm. All right, guys. It's minus 22 degrees Celsius. This is a real deal. I'm going in completely unprovoked. We've got stuff to do. It's gonna be great this patient the other day that was like, you're way too young to be my doctor. And I was like, man, you don't even know the half of it. I thought I was turning 38. I'm 36, I'm way younger than I thought. He was like, lost interest immediately. <laughs> That's okay, you can't win them all. Anyways, getting to work, feeling good. Day three, let's do it. Okay, so this, this is the physician's kind of lounge room, call room. If you gotta stay in the house, in hospital overnight, uh, this is where you stay. Bed, kitchen area, it's a little office area with computers and stuff over there. Bathroom's back here. And yeah, it's a pretty cozy little spot. You can get comfortable. Good place to get work done during the day too if you've got a, a little bit of downtime. But anyways, I'm gonna get cracking at it. They didn't even call me in and I'm here. What the heck? Wow, 62 hours remaining. I'm 58 hours into call. Holy smokes. So I have not had much time to sit and talk to a camera today. Unfortunately, sharing with you guys what I've been going through here is not really been possible. So I'm having a good day though, uh, getting a ton done. I've had to round on some inpatients on the ward and seeing a ton of patients in the ER. It's definitely a busy week. I would say probably this is my highest volume week here. Typically it's very low volume. Typically there just isn't quite as much coming through. That's not the case this week. Cold and flu season is part of that. And then there's just, sometimes it's busy. Not really any way around that. What I wanted to talk to you about is something kind of hilarious and it's superstition. I'm not superstitious, but I'm, I am a little stitious. So now you're probably thinking, superstition in the ER? Aren't ER doctors and nurses like super reasonable and well read and intelligent and we are, absolutely, of course. But there's some magic in there too, obviously. Here are a couple things that ER people will never say or will never do and often avoid to avoid calamity from striking at any moment. And literally, in the ER, calamity can strike at any moment. Here they are. Number one, we don't say the Q word. What's the Q word? That's the Q word, we're not saying it. When it's said, shit hits the fan. Crazy shit goes down. So if you're in an ER and you're walking by and you're like, oh geez, it's awfully, they're gonna be like, what did you just say? Yeah, don't do that. That's a whole thing. Now, one note on that. I was talking to Stephanie, my wife, about that. She is a family medicine resident. She found actually a study that looked at this. They looked at the use of the word <laughs> Oh no, oh no. They looked at the use of that word in the emergency department and found that it actually had no impact on the acuity of cases that were coming in, the volume of cases that were coming in, that whole piece. So take it with, with a grain of salt, but if you talk to some veteran seasoned ER nurses and you say that word, you're done, you're done, you're done. Sometimes in ERs, you see 
certain patients often. Some people just come through the ER for a number of reasons. If you say that patient's name, they will come anytime. So it's one morning, you're like, oh, I haven't seen so-and-so in a while. You will, you definitely will. They will be there within the hour. Mark my words, don't say their name. Keep my wife's name out your Have we talked about full moons? Full moons? Yeah, good luck. Anything can happen when it's a full moon. Like I'm talking some crazy stuff. All the wildcats come out on a full moon. And that is real. Like, shit is hitting the fan, all this wild stuff's going on. First question out of anyone's mouth, is it a full moon? People are constantly checking the lunar calendar. Yeah, it is. Toast. Full moon. Someone recently told me that actually the day before a full moon is bad too. I'm like, oh geez, another day to worry about. Sorry for the interruption, guys. I got called back in. I was there for a few hours. Lots of sick kids. Anyways. Another one, the last one that I'm gonna talk about, and this is a new one for me, I've not heard this before. Some nurses in the ER do not want to turn off any of the lights, because if they do, it means something bad's gonna happen. If you're closing shop, it means you better get ready to turn it up, because something big is coming. Anyways, that one's a new one for me. I didn't know that about that one. I'll have to run it by some other nurses and see what they say. Anyways, sometimes the science is only part of it, and the magic and the haunting is the other part of it. So, superstition is real. So I'm now 63 hours into call. I've got a moment here, I'm gonna hop on the bike. It's a little bit later than I'd like to be exercising, but I don't wanna miss it. I wanna get something in. I'm hoping that the next couple days I'll be able to do it first thing in the morning. The weekends are a little bit easier to do that. We have to wait and see, we never know. We never know how it's gonna go. So anyways, I'm gonna hop on the bike now, try to get that done, and then maybe that's it for today. Maybe we go back in, who knows? All right, let's do it. Another day, another ride. So I just finished my ride. It's um, 9.30 or something like that. It's been a long day. It's been a super busy day, actually. And uh, yeah, sorry for kind of being like shirtless and stuff. Let me, uh, let me go freshen up. Okay, that's better. A little fresher. So, you know what? Um, it's nearly 10 p.m. It's Friday night. I don't know what to expect. Um, I'm gonna go dark now for the evening. I'll check in with you guys again tomorrow. Another one of those days where I was super busy, didn't really get much time to chat with you guys and chat with the camera. That's okay. Like I said, we roll with it. We gotta expect this. I got a lot done at the hospital today though. Super productive and uh, saw a ton of patients and yeah, had a pretty good day. So it's always easy when you've got a good team working with you. And so, you know, that's the best part really. Lots of good people to work with. Oh my God, my hair looks crazy. Does it always look like this? Oh God. Anyways, I'll leave it there for today. See you tomorrow.